Hi, nieces and nephews. Welcome back to Auntie Nell's Kitchen. Yes, welcome back. And welcome back to the my second upload where we're focusing on those quick breakfasts on to go for, you know, these busy lives. Yes, busy lives. So we're going to be doing today breakfast burritos. I'm going to focus on a sausage um, breakfast burrito, a steak, um, steak and egg breakfast burrito, and add a little cheese in it too. And we're going to be doing a steak and potato breakfast burrito. So, and an omelet breakfast burrito. Okay, so we're going to be doing like four different breakfast burritos. They're going to be really quick and easy. Not going to take a whole lot of time because they're quick. Because, you know, convenience, you know, that's what you want. And time, these days, it's a luxury. So give Auntie a moment. We're going to do a flip and a swip and a flip and a flip. And I'll be right back, okay? Okay, I have an oil in the pan. I have my, um, what is this? Um, let's see. I'm going to put my peppers and onions in. Get my little doohickey. Do Get these all sauteed in. I'm just gonna saute these into my um, what do you call these things? Peppers. I mean onions get a little translucent, whatever the word is. And my steak, I tell you, my steak is marinated over 24 hours. And what I marinated my steak in. I brimed it as well in a marinade. Uh, it's tender, uh, meat tenderizer, Worcestershire sauce, and the Montreal steak, garlic powder. Let me show you what I did. Because, you know, some of you may know what I'm talking about. For those that have never visited my channel, this Montreal steak, um, that's, what I, that's my marinade. Let me repeat that. Montreal steak seasoning right here. Some garlic powder, a little onion powder, some Worcestershire sauce. And I tied all that up in a Ziploc bag. And I had marinated overnight. And this steak has been cut up. Little pieces. It's not cooked. It's dark from the marinade. So I'm going to let this, I'm going to cook this cover, leave this cover rather. We're going to leave this cover and let this cook. And I'm sorry, but I'm not cooking my... You can cook your steak medium rare. I don't want it medium rare. So um, I want it cooked well. And like I said, we're going to be doing some steak and potatoes. Uh, burrito so I have cooked some tater tots and I'm going to take these tater tots and I'm going to smash them because that's what they are tater tots are potatoes right so we're going to smash those tater tots or smash those taters we're going to smash those taters And leave some for mother. So that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to smash them up. Okay, we got these all smashed up. Nice and smashy, smashy. Gonna spin my steaks on. 
And the liquid from the steak, that's coming from, because that's the marinade coming from the marinade. So that is nothing but goodness. Ooh, almost. Ooh, that's a piece of onion. Get that in there. And I have already had my ground sausage cooked. I have my eggs ready to scoop out. So my, I have my tortillas together. And I have my peppers and onions ready. Ready to go for the um, omelet. But we are going to focus on the steak burritos first. And I'm going to add some salt and pepper. I'm using some fresh peppercorn. You smell all that good flavor in there, all with the onions and things coming together. No, we. I'm not using steakums. You can use steakums if that's what you want to use, and that's what you have on hand. You can use steakums. Cause I mean, I have used steakums. You know, for Philly cheese steaks, uh, burritos. For her because she's the uh, burrito person he's more of the croissant and biscuit type breakfast person she's not well she likes the croissants she likes croissants um, sandwiches breakfast sandwiches and burritos and um the pita sound I make pita breakfast sandwiches for her um, he's more into the croissants and the biscuits and the toast type sandwiches so I know what they like so I'm going to be right back what I'm doing um, I want to cook all the marinade um, the juices rather that came from the uh, steak the marinade juices that have derived from that steak. I'm trying to cook it all down because I want all of that flavor in here. You know, that's goodness, right? You know what I always say, get that goodness out. So that's what I'm doing. Okay, we have our steak ready. All oh, nice, doesn't that look good? Mm, yum, yum, yum. Have our steak ready. So now we are going to work on our omelet for our egg, right? Because I already have the sausage together. So we're going to work on that next. And what it is, this is basically um, eggs with some heavy cream because the heavy cream makes them now nice and fluffy. And so I need to get my ladle, 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 whatever you want to call it. Because that way, I am ensured that each um, burrito has an equal amount. I don't want to stain my stove like that. Ooh. And I let that cook on the bottom a little bit. Just let that cook on the bottom, and this will be I'm go, this this will be the steak and egg burrito. So just leave that alone. Yep, leave it alone. As your as your mama used to say, leave that alone. Okay. So I want to make sure it gets cooked on the bottom. So I'm going to just tilt it.
Yep, I'm gonna tilt it, tilt it, tilt it. I'm gonna leave that. Now, have to take it off the stove. Give it a good flip. Now, let's get some bur burrito loving in here. Turn my fire off, because this is the first burrito. And as you know, honey, you know with these burritos, they, they like to stick together. Put that off the fire. I want to put a little cheesy cheesy down. If I can find some cheese. I don't know what I did with it. Now you know what? I do not know what I did with my cheese. Oh, here it is. I'm going to put some cheddar on here. You can use the sliced cheddar in which I can use that too. But I had this already, this little bit left in the fridge. I'm going to use this. And I'm going to take my eggy eggy. I love tomatina. This is the this is basically the only cookware I use is tomatina. Okay, got that in. Now we're gonna add some steak. Gotta have that steak, right? We gotta have that steak. All right, see, got my burrito down. Got some cheese. Good. Always add your cheese down and put that hot egg on top. And so what I am trying to do, going to add some steak. Hopefully I can add some steak. I'm working with this one-handed crap. Okay, going to add some steak. gonna add some steak over here yum 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 get some steak this is our steak and egg burrito get a few peppers gotta make be sure we get some veggies in there get some of those vitamins get some vitamins in there Some of the onion, yum, yum, yum. I'm saying yum, 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 yum. You can't even eat it. <laughs> and I'm gonna throw a little extra cheese in here. It ain't what that, it is cheesy, cheesy, cheesy. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is, because I need to put this on top of something, but my stove is still hot right there, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to take my burrito, and it is going to be a little tight because it is going to be stuffed, okay? And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. It is going to be stuffed. I never said it wasn't going to be stuffed. I'm going to fold it. They're stuffed. My plate keeps sliding all around. And I'm gonna put it to the side because I'm gonna grill them all at the same time. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to grill them all at the same time. So I'm gonna move this out the way. Cause they're all gonna get grilled at the same time. So that's the steak and egg burrito. So now let's go to our steak and potato burrito. Also, you know, we're gonna have our steak and potato burrito. We 
gonna put um I'm gonna put some cheese on this one too. So when I run out of this, I get my sliced cheese. Put some cheese on here. I'm about out of that anyway. And the rest of it's frozen, so we're gonna add some a little bit of steak here. Gotta add a little pepper there. You know, gotta get those vitamins. Ooh, why did I pick that up? Gonna add some potatoes. Roll you up too. I'm going to move that to the plate because, like I said, they're going to be grilled at the same time. Now, this is our last one. This is going to be our omelet burrito. And so I'm going to move this out the way because I'm going to make an omelet. Move this and I'll bring this back over. Gonna get my scoopy scoopy. And get my peppers and onions. And to that, I'm going to add a little bit of tomato. And let this cook. So I get this cooked good. Steam it on top. I steam it on top. I do steam it on top a little. And so I'm going to give this a flip. It's probably going to tear, but hey, so what? It's still goodness. It still got that goodness. Okay, let me get my tortilla ready. Da, 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 da. Turn that down, because I need some cheese. Oh, I have another bag of this look. What is in here? Cool. Put some cheese down here. Let's think about this. Kind of remind you of a uh, southwestern, don't it? So I'm gonna treat it like a southwestern. Put that down here. Even though it's coming apart, it don't really matter. Cause this is so good, so good, so 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 good. Get all, honey. I'm not leaving anything in here. We're gonna take all of this goodness and get it in here. Even that little tomato that just fell out. We're gonna get all that goodness in there, honey. I'm telling y'all, don't be leaving goodness. Don't be leaving out any goodness. Okay, gonna, and I'm gonna add some cheese on top of this. Give that some, remind you of a Southwestern omelet, don't it? 
And it's just, a, I guess it would be a Southwestern omelet, huh? Add your little salsa to it. Is that our, hold on. Is that our, he better, uh, is that him? Make sure that's our lawn guy. Cause he got out of here two weeks ago and didn't do them hedges. And my husband had to call his boss. So we getting a free hedge trim because the hedges outside the front door, I could fall, but they're not trimmed. And I can't afford to fall. All right, all right. Okay, we got one more. Then we are going to get to grilling. All right, our last final one will be our sausage. Last one, sausage. Guys, you know what? I'm really loving my new stove now that I'm getting used to it. I still got to play with the oven. Okay, get my egg down. Oh, I thought I was out of cheese. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to, this is Jimmy Dean sausage. I love my Jimmy Dean. Love, love, love Jimmy Dean. Mm -hmm. They have a really good turkey sausage. Their turkey sausage to me is the best. Okay. And I'm going to let this cook. Oh, we got about my steam top. Should've got the top to the pan while I was out there in my little pan on the tote, but I didn't. It's all right, keep moving. That's life. You just have to keep moving. And the reason, why, the reason why I'm doing this so I can get my top cooked, and if it come apart, I don't really care. Okay, okie dokie dokie. Let's get me, let me get this flip. Cool, look, look guys, in you tear. <laughs> Didn't even tear. Let me get my burrito out. Oh, cheese, need to get some cheese down. And I may have to add, get my sliced cheese out. Maybe. Let's see what we're working with. Okay. Turn this off. Let me see what I'm working with. Gonna add this. You know, let me use my, my dominant hand so y'all can see. Gonna get this down. That sausage. Look at all that good sausage in there. Right. I'm gonna leave this over here. here Put this pan in here so y'all can see see what I keep working with okay now what I am going to do is get some more cheese because auntie is out of cheese Just gonna I got some shredded sliced cheddar so I'm just gonna do it like this how about like that what y'all think that'll do on it hmm you gotta think that'll do just roll this baby up Roll it up, roll it up. Mm 
And I'm going to put this over here because for the grilling. So grilling is going to sear them together. And I'm going to put this over here because I will finish the rest of them later. I just want to get these out of the way so I can show you guys. Because I have plenty of them left to fix. So, but what I'm going to do. That thing hot. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to grill them with some butter. This is what I'm going to grill them with, butter. Butter, butter, butter. We start off with this big steak one first. Because it is the biggest. It's the thickest. It's the most hardiest one. I'm going to grill it first. Grill it down. And get his wrapper ready. Ooh, that's hot. Can't have any burnt butter. Oh man, it came apart. Let me rewrap it. I should have seared it with cheese, but I did. That's okay. It's gonna be real. I know the next time. For the next one. I got so much going on over here. What I'm going to do, you know, if you have a hard time sealing them, you can seal them with cheese. That's the way I do it. I get some cheese. That's so all I gotta do. I get some cheese and uh, my burrito tour. So what I'm doing with this, we're just flipping it over. So this is this is this what is this one? This is the steak, steak and potato. So so what I'm going to show you what I'm doing when I say seal it with cheese. It's like this. Oh shoot. I'm gonna seal it with cheese. That's a little strip of cheese. Oh, that is hot. Clean that off, wipe that out because I don't want that on my burrito. 
I do not want that burnt butter on my burrito. So I'm gonna use some ham for this. Okay, and I'm gonna put this down. Omni burrito. Sear it with a piece of cheese. Even though I just laid it down, it could have already started browning. <laughs> When it come apart, you press it back down because that cheese is hot. And you move it to the wrapper. Same thing with this. While the cheese is melted, all you got to do is press it back down. Let me wrap this one up. Because once they go into their wrapper, you spoil. Once they go into their wrapper, you don't have to worry about it. They're going to they're gonna, uh, form anyway. They go into their wrapper and their wrap. And the last one is the steak, egg, and cheese burrito. And these can be frozen. And what you can do, you can thaw, uh, thaw them out and um, instead of you, and then you can sear them, um, grill them or sear them, whatever you want to call it, before you eat them. You don't have to, if you're going to freeze them, don't sear them. If you're going to freeze them, don't, don't uh, sear them. That's what my recommendation is. Don't sear them if you're going to freeze them. That's what, that's what I... That's what I say. Don't sear them if you're going to freeze them. Now let's put your uh, top, your flap down first. And I just get my foil ready. And put this in the fridge. Cause, and I would do these in a moment. Like I said, these, once these go in a, your foil wrapper, you don't have to worry about it. It's not, not going to come apart anyway. Ooh. Hot, hot, hot. Turn that off.
I have so much going on. Hold on, guys. All right, my family and friends. Well, if you're you subscribe, you know you're my your family. So I have them all labeled. I have the sausage and cheese burrito. I have the steak and egg. Steak egg burrito. They all have cheese on them. And I have the this is the steak, egg, and potato. And this is the South, I call it the Southwest burrito. It's of uh, the omelet burrito. And so, you know, so these will go, I'm gonna leave these out because, you know, in the earlier video, I did the uh, croissants. So I'm just gonna leave these out. Um, so I'm gonna put these over here. The side of my camera is just leaning. And I can't worry about it right now. You know, too much, too much going on right now. So, um, thank you guys for tuning in and hanging out, hanging out with your auntie. So, tight hugs and kisses to eat, eat. Rumble stumbles and grumbles. Tight, tight hugs and kisses to each of you. Thank you guys. I really appreciate your support from the bottom of my heart. Uh, hit that like button. It really helps out my channel. Please, if you choose to. But until the next upload. Um, I have one more breakfast upload that um, I have to complete for their breakfast sandwiches and that'll be done tomorrow because aunties um, I got to finish all I got to finish these sandwiches up and get them um, cooled off you know cooked cooled off and into the freezer so I will talk to you guys later until next, next upload see you later oops see you later bye